A Minnesota city is getting attention for a new law that includes a ban on sidewalk hopscotch games. Anoka passed the measure regulating what kind of displays are allowed on city property, and art is not one of them. David Schumann tells us why the city sees the rule as a way to protect itself. American flags, okay. City of Anoka banners, fine. Blue Lives Matter flags, not on city property. And no sidewalk art either. Anoka now only allows for displays that are, quote, expressions of government speech on city owned buildings, infrastructure, and in parks. Well, what it's intended to do is, number one, not abridge any, anybody's free speech. What the council is trying to do is make sure that Anoka stayed neutral. Anoka's city attorney says the ordinance's broadness prevents the council from having to subjectively decide what displays may be appropriate. What that means. If it's just somebody drawn on the chalk on the sidewalk, uh, technically, that's illegal. One city council member voted against the ordinance. He told me today he feels it goes too far and clamps down on normal societal things, which to him is a slippery slope. I don't know what the purpose of this is, and I'm concerned that it's going to get the city into more hot water uh, once people start understanding this and start, you know, testing it. We were more envisioning uh, protests with inappropriate or cussed language or something right in front of City Hall. And Anoka's attorney explicitly states, Yeah, we're not, we're not going to start issuing citations on hopscotch. Council member Eric Skogquist's response, Why have an ordinance if you're not going to enforce it? The city says it will use common sense in its enforcement. In Anoka, David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Some other example of what's allowed on display are U.S. military flags, signs for city events, and artwork approved by the city that portrays Anoka in a positive way.